Finally made it. This is your royal dog coming your way. I hope that you are fine and well. And it goes for all the guys in the third. I know it's hot and sandy over there. It's hot and sandy here, as a matter of fact, out in New Mexico. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Cigar Box Nation. This box here, my wife and daughter got me. It's a really ancient cardboard box. It's three string. <clears throat> it's not electric. And we're going to move on to the good stuff in just a little bit. But I wanted to show you some things. Um, I hope you can hear okay. I hope we've got enough volume on this thing. This is the simple three string type of thing. It's like AEA or, or, or whatever. It could be GDG, CGC, a whole bunch of stuff, but I don't even know what this one is, but strings, a piece of wood, and a cardboard box. I mean, you got a, a little rusty, <laughs> actually. Um, that's one three string. As you can see, like back here, I've got a couple over six. This one is a lap steel, which you play down like this. You know, like a steel. I have a pedal steel here. You can't see it, but you see all kinds of things just back here. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. That's a ukulele body with uh, a little stick of pine in it. Um, I have no idea what it's tuned to. However, you will because I'm sending you a badass snark tuner. Cool, huh? progress they make uh, you know some of them have piezos I have a, another box it's a, a license plate for example that uh, has a piezo in it it's electric it's a little round disc it's a tiny little metal thing that uh, electrifies it yours you've seen the pictures um, it has a humbucker this one here it's a humbucker but it's a p90 which is old style it's old school that one up there is a humbucker, but that's just a stock bucker. Yours actually has a Telecaster tailpiece and uh, um, a bucker, which is real nice. I have it hooked into a pedal um, and a PV uh, banded amp, which we'll do with the demo thing. The, the, the beauty of a six string is, is that you can do a lot with a three string, you can do a lot with a six string, but the advantage is with a six string is you have drop strings. Alright? So I want you to meet the Sarge. Here he is, right here. That's the little black snark tuner on the end of it. I'm sending you a fancy blue one, cobalt blue, dude. And uh, so he, uh, he's kind of. Uh, He's tuned like a dobro, which is GBD and GBD. And we're going to detune it to something else in a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you a little taste of what he sounds like. Um, you're going to hear the amp a little bit, can't you? That's a crunch uh, type of thing.
So you have your six strings. So instead of just three, one little operation there, you can do, you know, a tremendous amount of other things. I, I tend to pick it with my thumb and index and ring finger. Um, well, actually, index and butt finger. That's for the Afghans. Um, but he is um, really cool. I'll give you some alternate tunings to do. But this... Uh, might try some different types of, of uh, you know, uh, tuning and things like that. It has a brass nut, which gives it really good sustain, things like that. And, and you know, you can, even though it's fretless, there's no markings. You can find them. of it. I got little silver little cool beads in there for the strings. It's a little uh, little oak and the Sarge by Kevin Sturgeon and uh, he's bolted across here. He's got acorn nuts up here. The tuners are your black skulls. They all turn away from you. So if you want to turn it up this way, you know, you raise the string, you want to tune it, you want to turn it away from you, both sides. So, we can experiment with that a little bit. Also, we can 
tune it to other tunes. I, I like this tuning on a six string because uh, I just know how to play it like that. Because I play uh, steel guitar, uh, pedal steel, lap steels, what have you. Um, I know I'm real familiar with those. So, but and I play dobro as well, and so it actually is real familiar to me. And I'll probably detune it when I send it to you, so that. It won't strain the box or anything like that. We can tune it. There's like, you know, you preferably, this is really to me preferable uh, tuning GBD, GBD, because I'm so used to playing Dobros and, and I have an old 1930 Regal parlor guitar that I do a lot of swamp blues on with my buddy Money. <clears throat> and that's primarily what these do. I mean, uh, a lot of players have fret ones, they do other things. You probably saw Paul McCartney with it, stuff like that. I built fretted ones, um, they turned out pretty well. I built a fretted four string, it's in Colorado. Actually, Johnny Depp and Billy Bob Thornton have one of these of mine. I have no pictures, but I know that they have them. Uh, there's a lot of filming out here in New Mexico, so. Um, you know, these film crews and stuff and uh, coming by and stuff in a little town called Madrid which is like a this old school hippie town type of thing and uh, so you know I have some claim to fame <laughs> wish I had a picture but uh, I hope you like him and um, you can really light him up um, uh, he's Got a good volume control, nice volume pot. It's a no noise pot, so you don't get a bunch of static or crap with it when you do that. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to take it down. I'm going to put it in E, and I'm really not familiar that well with open E tuning uh, or open A. I've played it before, but I'll show you like, and I'll give you the. Uh, down while I tune this. It's E, B. E, B, E. G sharp. B. If it'll do that. Okay, so it's E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. send it to you and I'll, I'll write these, these tunings down for you so that you know what it is. Like I said, I prefer the GBD, GBD because it's a little simpler to deal with. Um, you know, if you're doing like uh, blues or even country stuff, uh, it works really well. So uh, um, give me just a minute and I'm going to take it back up there. And this tuner I'm going to send you, it's Brand new in the box, you're gonna like this. Just don't push 
a lot of buttons on it. Uh, it because it can get screwed. You have to read the directions. I mean, it, it does pitch change all kinds. So we're going to go with GBD. Sounds good, but, you know, not even uh, plugged in so you can fool with it. If you don't have an app or whatever, it, but it sounds pretty cool. It's even hard. I haven't played this guitar much, so. stuff on a flash drive and message it back to me and let me know how you're doing on it you know and then uh, <clears throat> you know we can kind of like go back and forth and trade licks things like that I'm a little rusty and like I said that's the first time I've really played that guitar so 
Um, I'm certainly not very good at it. If I had time with it, I'd be much better at playing it. But this video is made and uh, it's on its way. And, uh, you know, you guys keep it under the wire. God bless you and be safe, bro. You know, my heart's with you and my prayers. And you're going to come home soon. It's all good and enjoy and uh, follow me and stay in touch, bro. God bless you.